hello, Jeff Man Manchester, Manchester Music. In this video, I have a question for you. Really simple, super straightforward. What can I, is the microphone on? What can I do for you? I know it's been a long time since I've done videos, and by long time, I mean internet long time, a month. Things change, things move quickly, new products come out in a month, we are still kind of in May area, so in product cycle speak, that means that there probably won't be too much groundbreaking, earth-shaking new stuff until probably, I want to say, late August, September. A lot of stuff has come out, Session Strings 2 just came out, Orchestral Tools has a harp, Hans Zimmer Strings, which we've exhausted to death, on this channel. I guess my problem is, is that it's not just that I'm busy and I am, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff happening. I feel like I can't always catch a product release. I can't always be the first one to review something just because I might be in a different city working on something else or whatever. I'm wondering, is there more stuff that I do on this channel that you want to see? Is it more vodcasts? Is it more mixing stuff? Is it more mastering stuff? And by the way, the mastering stuff I admitted I can't really get to right now and that's why I'm trying to get you to Ian Shepard. I'll have him on the channel pretty soon. We're going to interview him, I think, next week, and that interview will come out soon enough. Um, but I know I was going to do a mastering thing, and I just couldn't commit to it, but I want to push you into the capable, sinewy, well-muscled arms of Ian. I don't know how he feels um, about me saying all that, or how he feels. Ian Shepard, I think he has a lot uh, more expertise on this subject, so I want to push you there for mastering, but mixing stuff, vodcast stuff, uh, quick tips. Um, do you want to see me talking to more companies? Do you want to see me doing interviews with Sonokinetic or Sonic Couture? Do you want to see me doing um, more music theory stuff? Do you want more stuff about speakers? Uh, people might not know this, the video I am the most known for, according to YouTubes and the internet and stats, is the how to uh, buy new monitors for beginners. That's the video that I am the most known for. I think the next one there is, is Vocal Synth 1, you know, which came out years ago. So what do people want to see on this channel? I want to be there. I want to help design and craft content that is meaningful and matters to you. More question answer stuff. Is it interviews? Do you guys want to be, do you guys want to talk to me? Should I do live streaming stuff? If you make a case for what needs to be done on this channel, I swear I will make time because you guys have been, uh, it's, it's goes without saying totally instrumental in building this community. And that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do this year, next year, is do a better job at understanding what the community wants that help get this channel off the ground and serving that community instead of necessarily doing what I want and on my whims or whatever. And also it might help because if I'm not tied necessarily to product releases like orchestral tools or whatever, if I can just focus on my own stuff, my own videos and series that you guys want to see that aren't some shiny new toy out there from Native Instruments or whomever, um, that might help me because then I don't have to worry about missing some product release or something like that. So branding, is there a company you want me to talk to? Is there is it microphones? Do you want me to start talking to like Audio Technica or Neumann or something like that? What can I do? This channel, um, because of you guys and thanks to you guys, um, the numbers are strong. I know a lot of people wish they had 30, 40, 50, 60,000 subscribers. I have never cared about subscribers. I, I still don't. We're at a point with this channel where we are niche enough that we're too big for companies to, well, we're not too big for companies to invest in and companies to do branding stuff with because that still happens, but we're niche enough that my voice and the numbers being what they are, it establishes a kind of credibility because it isn't a million people and maybe 500,000 of those are bots and the rest are just people that subscribed. This is a tight knit community that really watches and cares. And I see the view times and I see where the countries are from, the people that watches or whatever. We're at the kind of sweet spot is what I'm trying to say. So I think that your voice could help me dictate content and push me in a direction that will help make it more meaningful to you guys and that's what i want to focus on going forward mixing mastering creative stuff microphone speakers acoustics life advice whatever um let me know if there's criticisms you have of this channel keep it to yourself no tell me in the comments write to me or message me or email me all the methods of communication are available to you to get in touch with me um so please do that if you just want to see me get drunk more uh we can make that happen it's a fun life um so just please let me know and thank you for watching uh thanks for your i want to say support but just i know that you know we all say like oh content is free youtube is free and all this stuff you're getting all this stuff for free there's still a transaction and the transaction is that you guys while not really paying with money you're paying with time and I take that really seriously. I take your time seriously. So help me um, 
Help me serve you for, you know, for, for giving me your time. I want to pay back with content that's meaningful and valuable to you. So let me know how I can do that and let's move forward. Thanks for watching.